Oh, hey, everybody. It's Oglesby here, and I want to introduce you to Miss Arlie. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Miss Arlie here. I want to talk with you today about this week's topic, self-respect. I know there are many, many people in your life, in your family, on TV, in sports, that you really like. And these are the kind of people you admire and look up to. And sometimes you even listen to their advice. Those, of course, are wonderful people and they certainly deserve your respect. But there's someone else that deserves your respect. Can you guess who that person is? Well, it's you. It's important to consider the needs of others. Sensitivity to others means they will consider your feelings too. But it is also important to take care of yourself. To do that, you should have self-respect. We are better able to be part of the lives of others when we not only respect them, but respect ourselves. I have self-respect. There are many ways you can see just from looking at me and talking with me that shows that I have self-respect. That I am dressed in clothing that fits me. My hair is brushed and kept nicely. My teeth are brushed and flossed too. And I talk with you very politely. I don't use bad words. And I'm certainly telling you the truth every time. I hope you think that I am a professional kind, clean, and an honest friend, because that's what I feel. Oh. Hello? Well, hi, Miss Arley. I hope you're doing okay. How's everything up there in the big city? Well, hello, Missy Cornbread. How are you? Well, I'm fine, just fine, thank you very much was out there in the yard just now, and I saw me a snake, and I just ran away, but it was all right. It didn't do nothing. It was just sitting there. Hi, little snake. Hi, how you doing? He just said, hey. But I'm all right. What you doing? Well, I am, in fact, talking with my friends here in class. Oh, yeah? Hi, class. How are you? What y'all talking about? Well... Today's topic is self-respect. Well, it's really nice to get compliments from other people, but it's more important that you're able to compliment yourself. That means you did something good to make you feel good. I mean, that could be dressing nice or talking politely and using good words or shaking someone's hand. Missy Cornbread, how do you practice self-respect? Well, there are three main ways to practice self-respect. Number one is appearance. Appearance is everything, right? What do you wear? And how do you take care of yourself that tells everybody what you want them to think of you? You want them to know that you look cool, even with those new shoes that you are styling with your new haircut. And it's true. What you wear can affect what people think of you, but it also says what you think of yourself. Number two is wisdom. Now, wisdom, that's not just being smart and knowing the correct answers on a test. It has to do with how you share what you know, being open to other people's ideas. And number three, is socializing. Socializing, as you know, is engaging others. But what's important is how you speak to others. Listening to others when they have something to say and using kind, friendly language, especially when you disagree with someone. Well, that's right. What fun! Your class is nice. Well, any self-respecting individual would know that it ain't polite to interrupt someone's class. So I'm gonna let you go, but I do appreciate you taking my call now. Y'all be good, bye. Thanks, Missy Cornbread.
You never know the characters that can surprise you here. Oh, and speaking of characters, did I ever tell you the story of Penelope the Troll? This story took place far, far away in the kingdom of trolls. Penelope was a troll, and you know what trolls are like. They wear baggy clothes, they pick their nose, they never do anything right. Penelope is not the best troll. Her life was not such a big wreck. I'm not perfect. It's fine. That's Penelope's line, because Penelope has self-respect. Trolls always yeah. have very bad breath. They never brush their hair. Trolls like interrupting a crowd. They like farting out loud. Notoriously, it was known that they swear. But Penelope's words were not bad. Her teeth and her hair were both brushed. She waited her turn and was eager to learn and made sure that the toilet was flushed. No, she wasn't the perfect troll. Her life was not such a big wreck. I'm not perfect, and it's fine. That's Penelope's line, because Penelope has self-respect. Trolls made fun of her. They laughed at her. So she left the troll kingdom for good. She never looked back on those who would slack just as Penelope should. Now she found her new best friends. Leaving the troll kingdom behind. She is bright, she is healthy. She is right, she is wealthy. And with that, she really didn't mind. So she wasn't the perfect troll. Her life was not such a big wreck. I'm not perfect, and it's fine. That's Penelope's line, because Penelope has self-respect. Now, after all the videos we've experienced together, we sure gave you a lot to think about. But now think about this. Everything we reviewed from honesty to resilience to art appreciation, they are all important things that make up who you are. We can use all those ideas to make ourselves better, stronger, and even smarter. Like your teachers, they dress nice for class. We share information clearly and listen to your ideas. No one talks rudely or says bad words. We care about what you think about us because we care about ourselves and it shows. We practice the best three ways to have self-respect. Appearance, wisdom, socializing. Can you compliment yourself today? How do you let others know that you have self-respect? I'd like to know what you do. Send us your answers. And remember, the top three answers will be revealed in our next video. And all good answers will be placed in our raffle. So, until then, take care and bye-bye. Hi, Oglesby. Yep, I finally escaped Darth Vader, but uh, I've only made it to the moon. You can see the earth behind me. I'm almost there. As soon as I get home, I'll let you know. It's absolutely beautiful here. Check out my spaceship. I get to ride that home in that something. And and then, I mean, the sun. Hold on, it's hard to hold the camera like this. Uh, and there's the sun. Okay, well, I'll be in touch. Y'all have a good week. Bye, everyone.